Along the west coast of Britain and Ireland, we have this amazing network of woodlands, which are called temperate rainforests. And not many people know that we have rainforests here in the UK. These woodlands are really restricted to areas where the climate is suitable. So these are the really wet areas that experience a high rainfall and very little temperature variations over the course of the year. I'm regularly asked how these woodlands make me feel and it's actually really difficult to put an exact word on it because I don't think I've got the words in my vocabulary to even begin to describe how special and remarkable these woodlands are. They're just so magical and mystical and you can completely immerse yourself in these habitats when you're out and about exploring. Temperate rainforests are ancient woodlands in areas that experience high rainfall and are subject to really clean air. And this combination of factors results in amazing plant life throughout these woodlands. The lichens and the bryophytes grow in these distinct communities and the reason they thrive in such a habitat is because of the high rainfall and the humidity that is locked underneath the closed canopy that these trees provide. The ferns are absolutely covering the trees and we call these epiphytes where you have plants on plants on plants and this is a real feature of these rainforest habitats. When you walk into these woodlands, the first thing that you notice is the really rich diversity of life that these habitats support. The rocks are absolutely carpeted in mosses and liverworts and the trees are cloaked with lichens. And this is reflective of the high rainfall and humidity that is locked within these woods. This rock face here is a classic example of what you can expect to see in these temperate rainforests where you have no bare bark whatsoever. Every available surface is covered in life and here you have a rich tapestry of different greens, different shapes and this is very typical of our temperate rainforest habitats. Bryophytes is the collective term that we use to describe mosses and liverworts and as you can see on this rock face it is absolutely characterised by these species. Mosses and liverworts are non-vascular plants, which means they don't have a true root system and they don't have the phloem and xylem like a tree has, for example, to transport uh, water and nutrients around the body. What they do, in essence, is absorb everything from their surrounding environment like a sponge. So if the environment in which they're living in is healthy, these bryophytes will absolutely thrive. Lichens are found on all of the trees here, from the craggy bark of the oaks to the smooth bark of the hazel, and they really are growing in such luxuriance, and that is completely reflective of the healthy and clean conditions in which they're growing. The trees in these rainforests support so much life, and as you can see behind me, the oak tree supports the mosses which supports the ferns. So you have plants on plants and plants which we refer to as epiphytes. And these epiphytes are such a key component within these temperate rainforest habitats. Throughout many of these rainforest landscapes, you have rivers and streams that carve their way through these valleys. And with the closed canopy overhead, it really locks in the moisture which allows the wildlife to thrive. These rainforests are so incredibly special and so important from a conservation perspective and they are here to be appreciated and to be cherished alongside all of the flora and the fauna that they support and the lichens of course.